Hello, GitHub has uh, released a new firmware update for the Git2 camera. Uh, this update has a version number of uh, 1.3. Uh, it adds uh, several uh, features, a new resolution, uh, a timer for uh, taking uh, self uh, pictures. It also has improvements uh, for screensaver, for using uh, large size SD cards, uh, better uh, uh, estimation of uh, battery runtime and also some uh, other fixes but uh, this update also needs uh, some additional uh, uh, procedure to do before you install it you need to update a loader file first for the camera so after the loader you can actually load the firmware itself to do that you need to download the uh, firmware from a github website and when you unpack it you will have uh, four files included. You have the release notes. We got a file, a bin binary file, which has FW here, which means uh, firmware, and another file with LD, which means loader. And you also get some uh, instructions to update. But I'm going to show you how to do it. Very easy. You just need the USB cable. The SD card is uh, already inserted into the camera. So I'm going to plug in the camera on the USB. Wait for it to start up and I'm going to select my storage and now I'm going to format the SD card. This is also going to erase all the contents. The SD card is formatted and now I'm going to select the loader file, the LD file and I'm going to copy it on the root of the SD card right here I'm not going to create any kind of folder and now I'm going to safely disconnect the USB port and I'm going to take out the power cable from the camera I'm gonna wait for it to turn off now I'm going to let it 3-5 seconds and I'm going to plug it in back And now it's updating the loader and that was it the loader is now updated and now i'm going to select mass storage again and i'm going to open the sd card and now the loader file from the sd card is going to be deleted and i'm going to replace it with the firmware file i'm going to copy it instead of the loader file here and i'm going to safely disconnect the power the USB cable sorry I'm going to remove it from the camera wait for it to turn off now wait a few seconds and plug it in again and you can see it has uh, started to update the firmware you can see it here also and this will take about half a minute And the update was uh, successful. If I I need to select first uh, mass storage yet again, and I'm going to open the SD card and I'm going to delete the firmware file because if I do not do this, each time when the camera starts, it will update the firmware again and again and again. We will not break the camera, but it will take half a minute to start it. So firmware file was deleted from the SD card now I'm going to safe disconnect the USB unplug the camera again and if I start it back again it will run on the latest firmware and you can also check that into the menu if you go to the info here 
you can see it's 1.3 so that was it very easy to do and uh, it's recommended as it brings a lot of uh, new stuff for the camera bye bye